Patsy thinks this is uber comfortable. I'm going to make it less comfortable. <laughs> so that it looks like it was professionally made versus something that she made. I mean, because that's kind of why you're all here, right? You wanna be able to make professional quality dresses. Okay, go ahead and drop this. So the next thing I would consider, since this is already cut out, is where's my armhole hitting? The armhole is hitting lower than where I would like for it to be. I want the armhole to be about an inch and a quarter, or maybe inch, well, inch and a half, maybe almost four, three to four centimeters higher. So if I pull down to tighten this leotard, it's going to be too low here. So I'm actually going to pull up, and that's where I'll start. And so as you are fitting these dresses on yourself or on a client, you would not do your first fitting with a sleeve in it, but that's how you determine, are you going north or are you going south? What do you like the least about this dress? I don't like how the bust feels. Okay. That's what I like the least about it. All righty. And this is, and Betty and I had talked about this, so I wanted, just wanted to make, confirm, so one of the things that I notice when she's in this dress is that it's too short vertically. And this is not, not a dressmaker issue, it's just an issue with buying a ready-made dress versus either making it yourself or having a dress custom made because it's almost impossible to get everything perfect. Now, before we turn the camera on, I peeked at Betty's bum, which I promised her I would not do on camera. And indeed, her tush is hanging out. It does not, it's not cut well over the tush. And so what happens is that it's riding up over her bum and it's also pulling down on her chest here. And that was the first thing I noticed when she put this dress on. So if you are making a dress or if you want to do your own alterations, the best thing to do would be to lengthen the stride so that the whole bodice can come up and then it would sit a little higher right on your breasts because right now it's pushing them down. However, because your bum is already hanging out, you would then basically want to put in an entirely new panty. Given the age of this dress, you might not want to put the time into that. But since you know how to sew, it only take you a few hours. So that would be a really good alternative for Betty to make this dress feel a lot better on her. Or if you're buying a dress and your bum is already completely covered, just add an inch or two or maybe two and a half to five centimeters, whatever you need in length so that it lets the dress ride up. So if you're gonna keep the dress, I'd probably change the panty since you know how to sew. Then um, my other suggestion would be to not mess with the bra cups until you shift the bottom because once oh. you let all of that come up, the bra cups inside may actually be hitting so that they feel a whole lot better instead of fitting halfway on your breasts. Alif, let's do you first and that way in case you lose power as the storm comes in. <laughs> So Carrie, do you mind waiting a few minutes? Okay, perfect. Actually, a really simple fix. The back looks fabulous. The zipper install, beautiful, love it. So what we are talking about here is these, bat, these little bat wings on the side. And the reason these happen is because there is no dart right here. Ah. So, but that's okay. You don't have to have a dart here. We can compensate and put it right here instead. If you want to do this dart here, you can. However, it's fitting. This actually fits really well. So if this fits you equal or better than it does the dress form, I would say just take it out here, out on this area. So then what you're going to, and then that way it just saves a seam. Well, you have one less seam then. There we go. So what I would do is come in and take, um, maybe you'll probably end up doing about a half inch or about 13 millimeters on the center front. These two look rather asymmetrical. So well, actually, I, they are really much better. I don't know the way probably I pinned it. They are... Okay. Because when I saw the pictures, I was like, yeah, I'm like, are they this symmetrical? They are actually not. 
Right. So if I go visually, this is what they look like. So you'll need to, which is considerably different between the two. Okay. So if it does not look like this on you, take in whichever one you think is appropriate based on how it actually fits. Okay. And then on the side, I would come in and take more in on this side panel. Okay. And then over here, it would be a whole lot more because it just looks like it's that much looser on the other side. Okay. And then that would take care of it. This over here is totally fine. Most of this issue, because we're going to, will actually get pulled up here. Okay. And so what little bit remains right here, ah, piece of cake, you can come in and just maybe barely take in just a few millimeters, quarter of an okay. inch, few millimeters, a little bit. And you might not even need this okay. once you'll, so don't do the side until you've actually done the bust because this may be completely gone by then. All right, so why is this typically an issue in the back and not the front? One, because we have tushes. We have the three Bs, boobs, butts, and bellies, and they're opposing curves. So with bums back here, it makes the leotard want to curve, to go up and settle into this crease across the back, which is where the fabric always wants to go, right? These are the hardest wrinkles to get rid of when you're fitting, and that's why, because it just wants to go whoop and just settle in this canyon. Conversely, on the front, because it is being pulled down between your legs and your breasts fill up this space, there's a lot of tension here. So very seldom do you ever need to do on the front what I just mm -hmm. did on the back, Makes all right? Sense. Visually, this dress is in excellent condition. There are no snags. There's two rhinestones missing that I can see. So in that sense, it's, it's, a, it's immaculate. It's a beautiful, beautiful dress. However, it is really quite large. Normally, in order to make dresses fit well, I like to take a little bit in at each seam just because it makes everything fit better and it keeps the proportions correct. However, given that there are about 5 million rhinestones on this awesome skirt, I would try to take in as much as possible on each seam allowance. And I'm gonna have you scooch over just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pin in some of this just so you get an idea of what our options are. I'm literally taking in about two to two and a half inches on each side here. And then you would of course taper that in all the way up to the waistband. Now the problem with this is where you get into major time consuming is, and the reason that you only want to take it in on each side is because you've got all these rhinestones that you're battling and you've all these things have to be peeled off. You'll have to take it in, reshape the point, and then re-rhinestone. So if you only do that on the two side seams, it really cuts down on your amount of work. What I noticed when she first tried it on is that the, and her pattern was like this too, it went straight down pretty much from the apex. There was not enough curve going underneath the bust shape. Even when you're like super flat chested, you're gonna wear padding. <laughs> so then you're still gonna have a curve. And so no matter what, you have to, we want to pinch in, cause this is, that's a lot. That is in three quarters of an inch or two centimeters that I'm gonna take in right here. And if you take this much in, because that is such a big seam, and then try it on again after the fact without trimming away some of that seam, it's not going to fit well because the seam is gonna be so bulky and this is a, a pretty good size curve. Now I am going to take in both here on the bust just because I wanna see what this curve looks like.